Hi, hello, namaste to everyone and welcome to my channel Harsha's Life. So today in the planner series episode 4, I'm going to show you about the time blocking method and what it is. So now let's know what is time blocking. Time blocking is a technique where you use it for uh, managing your time, where a period of time is set for a particular task and it is divided into many segments or blocks like for example 9.30 to 10 or 10 to 11 like this you are going to have lot of many segments where you block the time of a day or in a week so why this technique is useful is it allows you to gain more control over your day like it's a, it's an effective planning system which i am following since I used to follow this in my college days, in school days. I used to make a timetable and write the uh, date and the time when I'm going to read it. So I would not be always successful, but 50% of the work would be done just because of those timetable. So now let's know uh, how I do the time blocking method for my work. So this is how I do the time blocking. Like uh, as soon as I get up in the morning till the night. And this is only till afternoon because I am... I have a timetable only till afternoon. In the afternoon, I just read, clean the kitchen, read the book and evening I'll be busy with my uh, evening tiffin preparation, dinner preparation and I'll be with my kids and I don't have a particular routine in the afternoon and in the uh, evening. So afternoon, usually I read books and watch the YouTube videos. Evening, I'll be with my kids and I'll be busy with my uh, dinner and uh, tiffin preparations so this is how i block the time like here 4 30 to 5 30 i'll be doing uh, harmonium vocal like that so it changes according to my mood every three or two months i just change my uh, method it's not the same throughout the year it changes every three months or two months or whenever i feel bored i just change my schedule so like this 4 30 to 5 30 i'm going to do this so 5.30 to 6, I'm going to do this. So this is the thing I'll write in my diary. This is a rough book where I have written all these things. So first of all, I brain dump all the things what I want to do. There are So I have many such uh, timetables here or uh, block uh, time blocking which changes. Regularly it changes. So here I'll show you how I do. This is my old journal. So here you can see what I am going to do in the morning, then in the afternoon and in the evening. This is my bullet journal. You can see here all the things which I have written for the whole day. Some I have gaps when I don't have anything to do. And here this is the morning in the evening. So it's like this. So like this you can prepare your own time blocking system. So and one more thing I would like to say here is you have to give gaps after each task. Because when you are mentally busy with one thing for one hour or more than that, then at least you need to give 15 minutes gap so that you are mentally relieved. So you need to give gap after each task. I do give gaps. During this gap, I'll be watching YouTube videos. I'll open my Facebook. So these are the things. And uh, one more thing is whatever you have written, please be flexible. It's not that you have to follow it. Don't stress yourself just because of the timetable or the things, time blocking system. Usually what happens is when you have, when you have put the time for such and such thing, don't we feel overwhelmed we feel stressed so do not stress yourself be flexible and wherever you need to change i usually change i usually change i just put the time like 10 to 11 i'm going to do this but at at 10 o'clock if i get a call then what i do is i just shift the time i just make it after the call one hour like that so i can do it you have to be flexible in your work then only this works or else it will definitely stress you so this is the time blocking method 
and uh, you can do this digitally also even in google calendar i have some of the important things which i have marked in the google calendar which reminds me in my mobile so you can uh, do your time in google calendar as well in google calendar you have time hourly time and there you can write your tasks to do list there so it will be very helpful and this is a very very good method to be productive and do more out of little time hope this was helpful so let's meet in the next video thank you